Introducing first, standing to my right, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 232 pounds, accompanied by the golden idol, Tommy Lee Curtis. Somebody didn't do their research because I am from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Thank you. Let's hear for the Jets. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing next from dance floors across Minneapolis, weighing 185 pounds, he is downtown, Petey Brown! You know, you know something? Petey Brown, you came out and did your little dance shuffle like a little girl. Tommy Lee, I'm so confident in this match that within, what, one minute? Maybe one, two minutes? I, you'll take Petey out. I'm not even going to be, I'm going to go sit somewhere over there. I'm going to enjoy the show. Go take a seat. You don't need I, me here. I got it. I got it, boss. All right, well, the Golden Idol apparently uh, telling Tommy Lee Curtis, wait a second, what What the hell was that? The Golden Idol, ladies and gentlemen, taking a cheap shot at Tommy Lee Curtis. That was absolutely ridiculous. Or at, at Petey Brown, first of all, he tells Tommy Lee Curtis that he's going to go take a seat somewhere, and I hope it's not next to me. I'm praying that it's not. And then all of a sudden, he levels downtown Petey Brown with that clothesline, with a cheap shot clothesline. This guy, I'm telling you, the Golden Idol, ladies and gentlemen, by hook or crook, he is going to find a way to aggravate you every step of the way. And, you know, he's making his way over here by me. Perhaps you want to sit over here, nitwit, because the monitor has been covered up because it's raining here in Lonsdale, Minnesota. Here, grab a headset. All right, I got to ask you here. Can, do you have enough room to get that around your medicine ball-sized oh hat? Oh, my God, what is this? <coughs> oh, <laughs> what? Where's Gorilla Monsoon? Doesn't he usually hit the bell? The bell rang about 45 minutes ago. But anyway, what in the world were you doing? You go in the ring. You tell Tommy Lee Curtis that you're going to go grab a seat. But before you exited stage left, you clothesline. <laughs> Petey Brown, boom. I just talking about it. It's unbelievable. And it is poor, unbelievable. This poor what? guy, everywhere he goes, somebody hits him with a clothesline. Why did that have to be you? Why not me? Can't I have fun? Uh, I've had a rough week. Uh, I, I know you have. Yeah, so I want to have a little fun. I know you have. Things have not been all, all just all right in the <laughs> idol camp this past week. <clears throat> but they're climbing to the top. Well, all right. Let's go back to the action at hand, ladies and gentlemen. Not worry about your personal life because that's a story in do you itself. Need a, do you need a cap for your head so it doesn't get sunburned from the lights? You should talk. Oh, boy. Downtown P.D. Brown, ladies and gentlemen, one-on-one -on -one in the ring with the, I don't know. Is this guy Shaggy, Tommy Lee Curtis, Big Bill Bono, whatever he is this week, is he part of the Temple of Terror? You seem to shuffle guys in and out. Like a revolving door. You saw that I walked out with him. Of course, that he's doesn't part mean of the anything. Of course, he's part of the Temple of Terror. You walked out with Morris, the commissioner, a little bit earlier on. Is he a member of the Temple well, of Terror? Well, that was for the payoff. Oh. I had to take care of him, grease the palm. Tommy Lee Curtis and Downtown Petey Brown. Downtown Petey would really wait a minute. Shaggy, Shaggy Tommy Lee over the top. Oh, nice little maneuver to get back into the ring, but there's a clothesline, and now the job is completed. Oh, my God. Tommy Lee to the what? outside of the ring. You know, this is downtown Petey Brown has won one match. Uno. Uno. One. The big. The oh, cross body off the top, over the top, onto the the grass. The gra See, you were going to say onto the concrete. I was. No, I was grass. I know what it is. You ever smoke grass? Never. Oh, wow. I don't need it. I get naturally high off life, Idol. By sitting next to me. Well, something like that. Yeah. Me uh, and you and a dog name. Oh, I don't want to talk about the dog. Sorry. I'd prefer the dog, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, God. To the outside, Tommy Lee Curtis. 
And downtown Petey Brown, I started to say Petey has won one match here in Steel Domain Wrestling. He would dearly love to make it two tonight against Tommy Lee Curtis. And what would that do to you? I can just imagine the stroke, the blood pressure, if Tommy Lee Curtis loses to downtown Petey you know, Brown. It, Mick, I, it's something that I'm not even going to think about or worry about. And why you would even bring it up is it completely asinine. It's a possibility. It's asinine. Downtown Petey Braun with his own cheering section, his rooting section, here tonight in Lonsdale, Minnesota. Ever since he started here in Steel Domain Wrestling, this guy is getting a cold following. Oh, but there's a, a shot right you, to the side of the you head. You know what? I will give Petey credit for something. Did you see the shirt he came out with? I did. It's a picture of a picture of Petey Brown. Yes. And paying homage, which is ridiculous, to Travis Cole. Hey, if it makes money, if it sells at the gimmick table, who cares whose well, face is on true. it? That's true. It's I like those Golden Idol dartboards well, that made a million dollars. I do sell candy, cookies, and other things at the. I know you do, and that's just on the street. But anyway, let's get back to the to the matchup at hand. Kind of a seesaw battle, although at this juncture, this early oh, that's rake on the back by Tommy Lee Curtis onto the back of downtown P.D. Brown from the dance floors. floors. in downtown Minneapolis, all across Minneapolis, all across. Yeah, not what about just downtown. Saint Paul? I don't know if he goes into St. Paul. I think he went to Poor Richards. Oh, Remember that Poor, poor Richards, Richards Poorhouse? Yeah, that's we, right. Cheap plug for them. Yeah. Is Sharky still there? Does he know he's the party's not, over? No, he's still, waiting for his, <laughs> he's still waiting for his medium rare hamburger. <laughs> I see. Big body slam there. Tommy Lee Curtis is as off the wall as anybody you've ever had in the Temple of Terror. I got to say that, and I'm going all the way back to Sheik <coughs> Adnan LKC and Larry Cameron. This guy is just bizarre. I'll tell you, let me tell you something, Mick. Today... 2016, the Temple of Terror is stronger than it's ever been with Aaron Corbin, with Tommy Lee. I mean, A.J. Smooth. It is a it is a well-functioning, well-oiled machine. It is probably the best athletes I've ever had. Well, you know, and that is saying something. You know, again, considering you had Larry Cameron as part of the fold many, many years right. ago, what a specimen that L guy was. Listen, I take nothing away from the guys I have, but, but I'm talking about today's athletes, where they're at today. The condition, everything. These are the guys. How would you compare, Idol, going back in time to when you had the hater and the punisher, as an example, in in your stable in the Temple of Terror? How do you compare that tag team? Fast forward some 30 years to a team like Tommy Lee Curtis, Aaron Corbin, AJ Smooth, a mix of thereof. You know, I, I'll tell you what. It was a whole different era. I mean, you the, you had the haters, and they were monsters. They were huge. They were, I mean, unbelievable athletes. But today, with the guys that I have, these guys, they have that agility <coughs> to go up against anybody. And it is a different wrestling style. Different There's record. no question. Different. No question about it. Downtown Petey Brown manages to kick out. A little frustration showing on the face of Tommy Lee Curtis. We are just kicking things off, ladies and gentlemen, from Lonsdale, Minnesota. Rumble on the mound here in Lonsdale. What a night of professional wrestling action. Hey, you know what? Can I take a picture of you? I don't want you to take a picture of me. Oh, I just did. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you uh, know what? Hey, let's do this since we're sitting here. Oh, no. Let's no, no, no. We're not going to do no, a, no, yeah, a, a do dual a selfie. selfie. Yeah, come on. Here we go. One, two, three. Smile. I'm smiling. It's pouring idle. Oh. Hey, what's that? It's pouring. Pouring what? <laughs> How come everything is covered here inside? All the equipment is covered, the tables, the, Except the, for us. the popcorn vendors, and we're sitting here with live headsets. Idle, you and I could we could go up and smoke. <laughs> what is this? Todd oh Grover, Todd God. Grover is, is putting everything away, but he's not making a move towards the headsets. No. He's what do you mean we'll be fine? Oh God. This could be shocking. <laughs> Don't make jokes. No, Don't make jokes. I always wanted you to go to the electric chair, but I didn't think I was going with you. You know what? We got to get out of here. Wait a minute. Where are you going? You're going to abandon me here? I got to call the rest of the bench. Downtown Petey Brown. He's going to. And Tommy Lee. There we go. And the rain is coming down oh. by the second, oh. by the minute. Oh. Can I have a little tarp here, please? <laughs> get over here if you want a tarp. Good God. Somebody's got to call this match. Mick Karch just abandoned me here. Ladies yeah, and man, gentlemen, it's me, the Golden the Idol. Tarp. I don't want to get this close. Oh, to you. Lord. Me oh and Mick Cart, we're side by Two. side. Oh, it's a downpour. It's Here we an go. Absolute deluge. There, get some hit. Deluge. Perhaps they should restart this match. That would be a good idea, but I don't think that the referee is going to do that. Look 
at these guys. They don't even care that it's raining. They have no idea what's going on. You know, that mat is a very dangerous thing when it gets wet. I'm talking into your microphone. I hate being this close. Oh, well, you know what? God, what did you, was that? Did you have a little sauerkraut and onions and relish? Wait a second, count of one, two, no, fix them up. Oh, big power bomb. No, once again, Petey Brown. Here, let me grab this headset. Yeah, can you put a headset on I'm instead trying. of trying to kiss me? I don't want to. Hey, wait a minute, get under the tarp. God here. sakes, this headset is soaking. One good bolt of lightning idle and all and Hellier's gonna be a happy guy. That's all I can tell oh you. God. He's gonna save twenty bucks a show. Oh my god. He'll be so happy. Oh Jesus. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be able to take Mrs. H out to Culver's <laughs> and get a milkshake. Any, oh. Anything can happen at Steel Domain Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, including Adopt. Wait a minute. Where are they going? Where what are they, they going? He's, he's going out out of the field here. What's happening here? Downtown Petey Brown is running the bases, and Shaggy is right behind him. What, what, what the doing? hell's going on here? Oh, lady, you know, I turn around, I can't even see. I got a face full of let, tarp. Let me help you out here. You're, gee, will you quit shoving me into the storm? Matter with you. Wait a second. We had, what is... What is what is what is Tommy Lee Curtis doing here? He's I don't know. I'm getting soaking wet. Where's home plate? I can't. Are we on the pitcher's mound? Home plate? I'm getting saturated. Yeah. Idle. Hold that up. I Hold don't want to hold it up. For God's sake. Oh God! It's never rained so hard in the state of Minnesota. Safe. Petey is safe. He's safe at home plate, despite the efforts of Tommy Lee Curtis to put the tag on him. He's safe at home plate. But from oh, they're they're slipping all over the place. This. I thought Hellier said it was going to be a brief downpour. Uh, he said 15%, not 95 <laughs> And look at, where's he? He leaves me and you out here. You like know where he stops. is. He's counting the receipts and he's going back to Lakeville. Count a one, count no, no. Wow. Only it's have still you ever, main count of, count of, Have you ever known of a promoter to leave early with the game, with the game receipts? <laughs> I saw him right happen. off in the truck. <laughs> That doesn't next he's gonna book Golga for the show. Wait a minute, count of one, two, no. Oh. oh, this is absolutely crazy. Somebody win the match. How the oh. heck are these guys in for the cover? Count of one, does he have him to? That's it. Thank God. Let's I'm going. trying to ring the bell. Get out Your of the way. The winner of this match, Jesus. <laughs> Tommy Lee Curtis. Good Lord, my eardrums just broke. Tommy Lee Curtis, ladies and gentlemen, gets the Duke. I think what happened is that downtown Petey Brown was drowned. I did think you say, that, Did you say Duke is an Iron Duke? Who? Downtown Petey Brown, ladies and gentlemen, struggling for air. I think he swallowed six inches of water in the ring there. But bottom line, Tommy Lee Curtis, on behalf of the Temple of Terror, I'm saturated here, Idol. We're coming back, I think, to Lonsdale. Where's Noah? Get that arc. The American Legion. We're a powerful force for the nation. We're the largest veteran service organization in the nation with two and a half million members. And when you add to that the American Legion Auxiliary and the sons of the American Legion, we have a family of four million members working hard every day for our veterans, our youth, and our communities. Go to legion.org to find out more about the American Legion's commitment of service to America. Introducing first, currently standing outside of the ring, accompanied by the Golden Idol, weighing 230 pounds from Boston, Massachusetts. He is the self-proclaimed peak of the temple, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Corbin. And his opponent, standing to my right, from Falcon Beach, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 245 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, hot shot, Danny Duggan! Hot shot, Danny Duggan and Aaron Corbin. And ladies Corbin. and gentlemen, Wait a minute. this contest will be a falls count anywhere match. 
Well, there's a stipulation that I was not aware of, but they have thrown in a wrinkle at the last minute. Falls count anywhere, and we are in a baseball park, ladies and gentlemen. So they could go in the bleachers, they could go in the concession stand, they could go in Jason Yerke's lap next to me to score the pinfall. Anywhere is fair game. They could go in the dugout, they could climb one of the light poles. Nonetheless, the feud between Hotshot Danny Duggan and the Golden Idols Temple of Terror is seething as it has since the idol systematically destroyed Danny Duggan, bumped him out of the Temple of Terror, and now everybody, and I mean everybody in the temple, has been basically promised a bounty if they take Hotshot Danny Duggan out of the picture on behalf of the Golden Idol. So certainly Hotshot Danny has a big target on his back, whether or not the peak of the Temple of Terror. Aaron Corbin is gonna be the man to crash the nugget and get the job done this evening remains to be seen. Hotshot Danny Duggan from Canada, of course, and Aaron Corbin out of Boston, Massachusetts, the man in the kilt. So much is riding on this one. Not only contendership in the Steel Domain Wrestling rankings, which of course is a big deal, but also just the venom, the personal animosity that these two have for each other. Not only Corbin and Danny Duggan, but the Golden Idol on the outside of the ring. He detests Hotshot Danny Duggan. So let's see how this one plays out. Referee Jesse Johnson, a rare clean break by Corbin, who now decides that the grass here at the, at the ballpark is a much safer place to be than inside the ring with Hotshot Danny Duggan. Steel Domain Wrestling coming to you, ladies and gentlemen, from Lonsdale, Minnesota. And once again, as we tell you every time, you can watch the matches on the internet, you can watch us on Fight TV, but nothing beats the excitement and the energy of watching Steel Domain Wrestling live in person. When you get an opportunity to do that, please do so, up to and including September 17th, back at the American Legion Auditorium in Richfield, Minnesota. What a blockbuster card that's going to be. Stay tuned to Steel Domain Wrestling, the Facebook page and the website for more information about that card. Coming back to the Legion, September 17th to kick off the fall season. And it is, of course, called September to Dismember at the American Legion. Duggan, arm ringer there. Hot shot Danny Duggan, of course, we've seen him break the rules. We've seen him follow the rules. He is the consummate athlete. There's no getting around it. Put together a diligent physical fitness fanatic, a former Steel Domain Wrestling heavyweight champion, and I promise you Danny would like nothing better than to get that gold once again. But, you know, there's a ladder to climb. There's some rungs on that ladder, and one of them is Aaron Corbin. Whipped off the ropes. Wait a minute, we got a little crisscross going on here. Corbin and Duggan. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh my. You know, for a guy who's been around the business probably 15 years, Aaron Corbin fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book outside of the promoter saying, I'll get you at the end of the night. The Golden Idol on the outside of the ring, of course. And again, we got a crisscross going here. Look at the, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on a second. Oh, Corbin. Oh, my. Aaron Corbin. There's a short arm clothesline. Like to thank the various members of the production crew who just provided water here for Slick Mick at the announce table. A little bit earlier on this evening, had all the water I needed. The, oh, wait a minute, Corbin takes Duggan to the outside and now both of these wrestlers out onto the grass here at the ballpark in Lonsdale, Minnesota. There's a reverse, oh no, right into the fence. The barricade and now it's all Aaron Corbin working on the back of Hotshot Danny Duggan. 
Duggan, of course, at one time the longest reigning Steel Domain Wrestling Heavyweight Champion in history. Trying to battle back now, trying to get his wits about him, and referee Jesse Johnson, give him credit. He's giving both wrestlers a little bit of leeway here, a little bit of flexibility. He knows the bad blood, he knows the bad feeling, and he would like these wrestlers to be able to settle it here tonight in Lonsdale. Oh, wait a minute, he's got his, does he have his face, his forehead, right on that chain link fence, and the fans about ringside are really enjoying getting up close and personal, but I tell you what, you don't want to get too close. Oh, look at it again, the Golden Idol. What, what makes this guy even profess to be an, an athlete of any kind? You know, with that yellow jacket he's got on and his shape, the man looks like a, a light bulb. Oh, oh my God. Corbin feeling the steel. Oh, Duggan, Duggan's got a chair now. Hot shot, Danny Duggan with a chair. Oh, no. Right to the back of Aaron Corbin. And with Corbin's uh, pasty white skin, that'll show up for about a week. There's a reversal, and now Duggan this time into the fence. It's almost become a, a one-sided cage match here in Lonsdale, Minnesota, as both wrestlers, again, taking advantage of the false count anywhere stipulation which was added very very late in the day apparently i wasn't even aware of it obviously the promotion realizing that a ring certainly wasn't going to contain these two and now corbin oh no he's got everybody scattering at ringside and this is never a good thing when you got a row of open chairs or a whole section of open chairs and you got Aaron Corbin using Danny Duggan as a law. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Corbin. Oh, my God. Oh. Corbin went face first, crotch first. I'm not sure which, which it, I'm not sure there's any, any difference really with that guy. But nonetheless, Aaron Corbin part of the Red Sea here in Lonsdale, Minnesota. I tell you what, I mean, this is, when you get these two in action against each other, I don't care where it is, Lonsdale, Richfield, whatever, it's intense, it is absolutely off the charts, and tonight is no exception. Referee Jesse Johnson, kind of slow to get back into the ring there. You know, it's very, very slippery, not only in the ring, but outside the ring. From the downpour a little bit earlier on. Oh, over the top. Over the top goes Corbin, brought into the ring unceremoniously by Danny Duggan, and now hot shot. Wait a minute. Oh, he lit him up. Hot shot, Danny Duggan absolutely lit up that, that Biafran-like chest of Aaron Corbin. Oh, gee. Man. There's that knee to the midsection, into the short ribs, a great equalizer, and now Darren Corbin backs Duggan into the corner, and he missed with a chop of his own, and Duggan laid him out again. Wait a minute now, Corbin, rake of the eyes. I care how big or how tough you are, somebody sticks their thumb in your retina, it's, it's gonna even things up real quickly. Corbin getting some advice on the outside of the ring from the Golden Idol. Idol, of course, always with a vested interest anytime his charges, his men are in the ring. He wants so badly to get Danny Duggan out of wrestling, but Duggan with a reversal. Watch Danny Duggan now. Tremendous suplex. In for the cover. Count of one. Count of two. Does he have him? He got him. Danny Duggan. Ladies Danny and Duggan. Your winner of this match, Danny Duggan! The Golden Idol has to be absolutely beside himself that once again, a member of the Temple of Terror is unable to get the job done against Hotshot Danny Duggan. Hotshot with bragging rights once again here tonight. And, oh no!
The Idol had the audacity to try to give a hammer shot to hot shot Danny Duggan. Oh, the crowd wants him, wants him absolutely level. Look at Idol. Oh, he nailed him. He nailed the golden Idol. Oh, there he goes. Like a jar of mustard, the golden idol hits the ring apron. Wait a minute, what's it? Wait a second, what's Duggan got? Danny Duggan is coming into the ring with. He's got a hot dog. He's got a hot dog and he's got a bottle of water. Oh no! Oh no! Into the mouth of the golden idol, the prone golden idol! Oh, gee! Oh! Oh my! Hot shot, Danny Duggan. The Golden Idol has been absolutely eviscerated and humiliated tonight in Lonsdale, Minnesota. Not only does Aaron Corbin get beat, the Golden Idol almost choked on a hot dog. Wouldn't be the first time in his life I don't think that he choked on a wiener, but nonetheless, the Golden Idol, ladies and gentlemen, embarrassed beyond belief tonight in Lonsdale, Minnesota. <laughs>